Welcome to Remedy Force video tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to deactivate a trigger in a production org. Let's move to the demo part. Once you are logged into the Remedy Force org as an administrator, click on Setup. In the Quick Find, search for Object, Object Manager. In this demo, I will be showing the demo for disabling triggers for incident object. So I will search for incident object here. Here we go. In this we will click on triggers and we'll see what are the triggers available and whether they are active or not. So let's suppose I have a trigger SPM test trigger in my incident object and it is currently active. So I have a use case that business needs this trigger to be modify or deactivate. To do so, this can be done via change set and many other tool. But in this demo, we'll show how we disable a trigger from change set. So for that, we need to log in to our sandbox org. So this is a sandbox org. You can see summer new. This is my sandbox and I have a trigger on incident object here also. So we'll open the incident object and search for the same trigger. Click on triggers. Yes, the same triggers are available here also. So we need to first deactivate this trigger in the sandbox. And then after that, we will use the change set to deploy in the production. So click on edit and make it inactive so it's already inactive so click on save if you have active triggers you can click and make this inactive once this trigger is inactive go to the setup again in new window search for change set yes for this we need to create an outbound change set click on continue click on new button give the name of the change set test trigger disable click on save and in the change set component we have to add that particular triggers that we need to disable in my case i have only one trigger to be disabled so you have to particularly select apex trigger here so all the custom triggers and out of the box triggers will be available so this is my required triggers to make disable in the production it is added here. Now it is ready to upload in the production or click on upload. So here also you need to navigate to the setup. And in this production org, we need to search for inbound change set. It's still not uploaded. You can see one message displayed. Your upload is currently in progress. And again, it's changed to your change set was uploaded successfully. Now move to the production org and refresh this inbound change set form. Here we go. We can see this test trigger is the name of the change set. And we have uploaded this from this sandbox org. To do the changes, we need to click on deploy. I'm selecting default. It will give you a warning that it will be overriding the existing code. Deployment started. If you want to check the status, will display here it shows the deployment is successful also we'll receive an email yes you can see change it upload successfully that means the deployment is successful now now we need to open the same triggers and we'll see whether it is active or you can see it was active before now let's see after doing the changes this become inactive now this concludes how to deactivate a trigger in a production org. I hope this video was informative and thanks for watching this video.